Hi, it's Margo again, and I'm still up. It's Monday night, February 17th, 2020, and I just am feeling, feeling like I just still need to do some videos and some reporting. Climate Reanalyzer from today shows the Arctic at three per, three degrees temperature rise three degrees C temperature rise um, or anomaly <coughs> uh oh I didn't mean to do that here I'll blow this up so you can see it I don't know if you can see it at the bottom but that's from climate reanalyzer it's three degrees higher than normal but <clears throat> they've already posted their data for tomorrow and they're showing the Arctic at 3.3 degrees higher than normal and the world is at 0.8 degrees higher and the Antarctic is 1.3 degrees higher the northern hemisphere is 1.4 degrees higher so something's something's going on I mean we're just heating up exponentially it's totally exponentially and we're not seeing the methane come up to correlate to this kind of abnormal heating and so um, I'm gonna also I want to bring I'm gonna go back to that I want to bring to you I was looking on Sam Karana's blog post and um, he put this up last Thursday the 13th and I just now looked at it and this is pretty disturbing so this could be the end for us this year I'm really thinking we could be at the end this year because of not just the coronavirus but for all these other things that are going on too so his title says January 2020 temperature anomaly now this is pretty frightening so we're going to go through this it's not very long above image shows NOAA land plus plus ocean monthly temperature anomalies from the 20th century average. A trend has been added based on the January 1880 to January 2020 data. The trend shows that data in the early 1900s were some 0.28 degrees Celsius below the 20th century average. So that's over here and then adjustment when using a 1750 baseline the data need to be adjusted even more than that 0.28 degrees Celsius since it was even colder in 1750 the total baseline adjustment may well be 0.58 degrees Celsius as described in an earlier post Furthermore, ocean data in above image are sea surface temperatures. To reflect air temperatures, a further 0.1 degrees Celsius adjustment is applied. Finally, an extra 0.1 degrees Celsius, Celsius adjustment is applied to reflect higher polar temperatures as opposed to leaving out missing data. Altogether, this adds up to a 0.78 degrees Celsius adjustment, which implies that the temperature in January 2020 was 1.92 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial. So we're almost at the 2C above pre-industrial, is what he's saying by January. And so that's just one month into the into the year so that's that's really that's really not good 
which trend is most applicable? How much and how fast could temperatures keep rising? That question looks even more important than this 0.78 degrees C adjustment. In Indeed, the trend added to even the unadjusted data in above image points at temperatures crossing 2 degrees C average by 2026. The image below shows a blue trend similar to the trend in the above image. In the image below, this blue trend points at temperatures crossing 3 degrees C above pre-industrial by 2026. As discussed in an earlier post, a 3 degrees C temperature rise may well drive humans into extinction, while the rise could continue to exterminate all life on Earth. As the image shows, the January 2020 anomaly is well above the blue trend. As discussed in an earlier post, a 2020 El Nino could be the catalyst to trigger feedbacks, including huge methane releases from the Arctic Ocean seafloor. While these feedbacks are already active in many ways, a 2020 El Nino could make them start kicking in much more strongly. A short-term trend in red has therefore been added as well to illustrate El Nino slash La Nina variability and to highlight this danger. Ominously, the January 2020 anomaly is above this red trend as well. This is even more the case when the same analysis is done with NASA data which produces similar results while the January 2020 adjusted temperature anomaly gets even higher i.e. 1.96 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial. The situation is dire and calls for immediate, comprehensive, and effective action as described in the climate plan. So, this is, this is not looking good at all. So if we look at this, so here we are 2020 and so here's 2021 so here's two degrees so by the end of january we're here we're like three seconds to midnight to the two degrees by the end of january so it's showing by the end by february or march we'll be at two degrees and then we'll will be at um, two, like that's about 2.6 degrees by the end of 2021 and we'll hit three degrees by the first part of 2021, so in a year. <clears throat> no way three degrees is over here so it'll be no wait that is three degrees so by the end of 2021 I, it, I'm sorry by the end of about January 2021 if we keep going on this red trend we'll be at three degrees so won't we won't be here though that's a year from now so that's worst case scenario or it could be even worse than that just depending and the not so bad case scenario is this more uh, more blue trend not so sharp of a rise but he has us reaching two degrees um, 
around 2021 and then 3 degrees in 2026. So either way, it's not very long. So I just wanted to share that. And here's the NOAA one. So here's 2020. And here's the blue line going up. And then it goes to 2030. So. There's no stopping it. We are in runaway. Abrupt climate disaster falling apart everything's falling apart and with all of this we're going to see more earthquakes more volcanoes the land masses are going to be coming apart i'm i'm seeing evidence of the tectonic plates shifting and moving and with that of course we have the melting of the arctic sea ice has already begun and we're seeing the antarctic melt and as that happens then the weight shifts from the arctic because the ice is ice is not there anymore so you have the isostatic rebound and then you have more plate movement and um, there you go so just just expect the unexpected on everything So there's the Arctic at 3.3 degrees Celsius higher than normal. I've never seen it this high. I seriously have never seen it this high. So I'm signing off and going to try and get some sleep. I drank extra coffee today and I shouldn't have. And that's why I'm still up. So we're in the end times, folks. And if you haven't gotten right with God and Jesus, now would be a good time. So I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Go in peace. Good night.